<laughs> my mom won't really show up. It's not true. My mom said how. But you will my go home would. and look at your mom and go, "Where can we find you on Twitter?" <laughs> well, I'll be like, "Mom, where can we find you on the web?" <laughs> and she'll be like, "You set up my blog for me." Okay. Um, Crow Hartman. Yeah, Crow Hartman. That's good. Did I get it right? You got it right. Which time? I said it. First time. time. Crow Hartman. Okay. This is Greg Crow Hartman, and it's at Greg K H on Twitter. And yeah, you're you, a Linux. You don't kernel? want to follow that. You don't want to follow that. No, it's my output of my terminal. I, everything I type goes to bat, Twitter. <laughs> so you tell me I don't want to follow that. No, I mean it's like boring. Freakishly <laughs> intrigued now. What I'll do is I'll follow it from the Strange Love Live account. <laughs> And, and because then that's where I'm like my bag when I when I have time and I okay, just sit there boring. and stare at a Twitter stream for like hours. That's where I go to. The they finally rate them to me, so they, they don't. They did. Yeah, they don't let it go as fast as they used to. Anyway. Okay, Greg, you are a Linux kernel developer. I am. And you're a speaker. I am. Have you given your talk yet? Nope. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. What's your talk on? The Linux kernel development process and what we do, how we do it, mm -hmm. how fast we're going, things like that. And are you from the Portland area? I am. I live here. You okay? You live here, so you didn't come from far away. No. So, uh, what? Because OSCON is gone now. Yes. And so we have O's Bridge. How do you think this is going? This new conference. Very well. It's it's done very differently as well. It is. Yeah. It's the unconference style. Um, I'm familiar with that style. I've done. We do something called Freedom Hack, which is a Linux kernel development unconference, mm -hmm. and we've done it in Seattle. Um, LA and I just got back from Taipei where we did one there. So I'm very familiar with the unconference style and it's very nice. I like it. The conference seems very good so far. There's some good talks later today and tomorrow. And some very nice. Going on. So how large and fast the Linux kernel is developed? How large? How large? How um, large the Linux kernel is and how fast it's developed? Or the development. We have, what do we have, 2,800 developers per mm -hmm. year in our community, mm -hmm. which is huge. Um, we also are, the Linux kernel is, goes very, very, very fast. We're averaging 10,000 lines of code added, uh, 5,000 modified, and 2,500 lines modified per day. Per day? Per day. Wow. And it comes out to be almost, it's five, um, five and a half changes per hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the past year. This is your nice, stable Linux kernel that's running everything from over, 80% of the world's supercomputers to your cell phone, to your car, all of Google. That's a everywhere. staggering amount of change. Yes. All happening. All happening. It's and very it's stable. Incredible. It's very stable. What drew you to open source? Um, I come from an embedded background. I used mm -hmm. to make embedded devices. And I started having to test my devices and realized that um, I had to test different operating systems. I was like, hey, Linux isn't working so well in USB. That's what I did. So I can, I can fix that. And I did. And then I just got involved. So I've been doing it for over 10 years now sure. in the kernel. So you are part of the, uh, the I think, it was, were you in the, did you, did you attend the keynote this morning? I attended half of it. Um, there was part of it where Selena had her numbers. And I think it was like, it was just under 50% of people who had who'd been working in open source for over 10 years. Yeah. And I was just, I was floored. But then the more you talk to the people and, and the more you realize how many pies open source has its fingers in. I mean, how far-reaching it is. It's not just what, it's not just the open source developers. It's it's it reaches into so many different aspects of people's lives. It does. Well, they they said what is it? Every person uses Linux at least 25 times a day. And they don't realize it. Um, all Motorola cell phones, Google, Amazon, your car, the internet. Um, what is it in your car? What's in your? Um, some of the controllers in the car running Linux. Some uh, Volkswagen, some Toyotas. Our car. So, um, <laughs> oh, because yeah, the it's not like it's not like they used to. You pop up in the hood, you tinker with things, yeah, and no, you tape things up. It's fine now. You just kind of plug it in, and yeah. Um, yeah, it's everywhere now. Wow. Uh, what aside from your talk? What time is your talk tomorrow? Uh, ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. And aside from your talk, what do you think people should be looking for at the OS Bridge conference? Um, the wide range of very good talks. There's some good tutorials. Um, Linux uses a source code control tool called Git, mm -hmm. which Linus also started. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a tutorial in a few hours. We're going to be streaming. Okay. We'll stream that tutorial. Sarah yeah. does a very good job. Um, so that's a very good introduction to how to use Git and source code control that you can use for everything, not just your code, um, any type of documents you have. So that's a really good thing to do. Um, there's lots of really good talks. Uh, one of my coworkers is talking about embedded systems at 3.30, the same time as uh, uh, dealing with assholes.
talk, which is there's great. A lot of good stuff. Going Donnie's on great. At the same yes, time. so that's a good talk. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really good talks here. So it's nice. I like it. All right. Well, it was really, really great to great talk to you. you. Thank you so much for coming on thanks. and for coming back in. And can you please sign the guest board? I would love that. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Greg.